Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about INBD exams and uh, I gave my INBD exam on uh, December 2021, so that was last year. It's been almost six months, I guess. Uh, so what I used for studying for this exam was uh, a lot of mental dental videos. I watched them, I binge watched them. Um, I was not in a mood of reading too much, so even to kick off my preparation like start morning motivating myself on reading was the first thing i did was watch all his videos um i've watched it a couple of times and uh because uh then i felt like you know i i went on his page and then i downloaded the file or the pdf that he has and it was very helpful so i can go back and like you know see uh, the materials that i already know like i would read them back and forth so a uh, very big shout, shout out to Dr. Ryan uh, because, you know, it helped me a lot for even my NBDs and um, for pharmacology. So I'm using this piece of paper to actually say what all I had read for the exam. Uh, so pharmacology, I read Tufts pharmacology. Uh, people who have given NBD part two will agree Tufts pharmacology is uh, like the PDF version, you know, maybe 30 pages maybe more yeah so but it, but it's nice um definitely go to top pharmacology and uh what i watched on youtube was speed pharmacology it helped me that channel helped me understand all the basic foundations that i needed to know about pharmacology it would uh just for a brush up because you know i don't have my books up here uh but if I had to pick on every like you know drug uh, the classification and like the adverse effects and the therapeutic uses like and the mechanism of action which is really really important and it's very quick so if you want to brush up i watched those videos a couple of times there are so many classifications to into it i would not like you sh you can watch whichever class like you know drug classification you don't understand better so for me it was the antidepressants or the cardiovascular drugs so it could be anything else for you so try and like diabetes like you know the, the drugs that are used in diabetes like those were the ones that i uh and the DM mechanism of action that i used for speed pharmacology the drugs that i understood better i didn't watch those videos so but that really helped me so speed pharmacology and it really gives you a picture about how um it, like you know the person's talking and drawing through a picture so if you have a better visualization um that helps you out too so that is also a very good resource for pharmacology what i used for basic sciences courses was um the crack dental uh, hygiene um app so they have videos on um i would say anet physio biochem um what else yeah so maybe just to go through that uh, material um oral pathology they had if you want to go through that um but you it's just if you want to do it not too much emphasis but i mainly used it for anet and physiology um that helped me and um the next thing i used was dent pen inbd so i didn't actually um read it all i again went with the basic sciences uh in there i did not read more of the clinical sciences and i the inbd part the dent pen inbd part of that um but you know you want to like the specific questions for anet physio dent uh dental occlusion and um dental anatomy like you know the basic ones uh, are listed up there you can go through that a quick browse through when like you know tired of re uh, reading something over and over again you can always like go back to that one because uh, it's a very handy um pdf too so that was easy it's easily available online so if you click on download i dead pin INBD it should be available too you don't have to spend so much on that and then i did have the boot camp towards the end and uh, what i did use in the boot camp was mainly um the clinical 
um, clinical sciences questions because it's divided into like maybe operative and do prosto so i didn't do the basic sciences um, courses uh, like you know the questions from the boot camp i did more of the clinical ones and especially oral medicine and i did oral medicine twice because it was a new subject not a new subject but you know the questions that the way it was framed i wanted to understand each and every concept um the questions were not necessarily the same but if you understand like you know why this question why the answer is right for that question and why the other choices are wrong it'll be easier and they've explained it in detail about it and you can learn better so i did that towards the end um i can what i would have done different was maybe it's expensive too like boot camp is expensive too so that's why i did it towards the end but if money is not an issue for you you can start it way before and like you know start doing basic sciences too and even clinical too um it's and they do have fewer questions but i think if you understand um like you know why why the certain answer is for that particular question it is more important than you doing like many thousand questions like you know this that's not gonna help so my strategy was like to understand everything this time for my INBTs because I had read that it is more clinical and you have to actually think about the like you know your concepts needs to be more clear than anything so that helped me and um, for the biostat and the research portion what I did was um, I had two channels on YouTube again. So I just Googled USMLE Biosat videos. And after exploring everything, I found LY Med. He's a medical student. He explained all the foundations about biostatistics and epidemiology very nicely. He has eight videos. So go to YouTube and put in LY Med Biostat on Epidemiology USMLE something like that and it should pop up go through those eight videos I even did those eight videos for my ADAT and I think it it's not like necessarily that you'll have uh, the same questions from that but you're understanding the concept so once you understand the concept it's easy to understand a question and uh, that's how I linked with like you know the biostat part for our exam the second person for biostat i followed was randy neil md so he basically gives you a set of problems and like you know he's uh he he's he's having a question and then he's trying to explain a concept over the question so um uh, i went to few of them not too much um, but it's definitely helpful if you want to see like how is um, how uh, how are the things that we're uh, we're learning about biostics applied to the questions that can be asked. But try to remember like these are all medical kind of related questions. You need to think into a more dental kind of um, question. And mental dental it does have um, the biostat part, but I felt like it, it's a little bit less. So maybe you can top up with these kind of uh, resources on YouTube. Um, the other thing I had was Mosby. Yes, so Mosby, I read it back and forth. Um, not necessarily pharmacology. I read it once uh, just to have a basic understanding of, you know, what is there in the Mosby for pharmacology. So, um, yeah, so I read Mosby. I did the I did few of the papers that were behind like the book. I did them just to say those questions didn't necessarily come, but it kind of helped me like have a routine. It's very important to have a routine. So I did those questions anyways, just to see how much I even understand from the book, uh, the Mosby textbook itself. Um, people who do dental decks, definitely you can do it. I have not used dental decks, but uh, whatever you like, Mosby dental decks, but I, I did Mosby because I was doing mental dental and it was just aligning with um, the way. So Mosby, uh, everything in mental dental, he's taken it from Mosby and um, it 
it lines like if i don't feel like reading i'll watch the youtube if i if i feel like reading more then i'll go back and read more in the textbook like but end of the day i still read it um so it was a combination of all these things that made me pass this and i'm very very happy that um I passed my NBDs and for my ADAT, um, I had given my ADAT before my INBDs just to like kind of kick off with like, you know, um, like start studying because you need some motivation to like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and clear this. So my ADAT score was 480. I don't know how much of a good, bad score it is. People say 500 to 600 if that's in my score. But um, yeah, so still pretty good. Uh, end of the day i wanted to pass and that's uh, that's what's needed i'm gonna make a second video on the tips and strategies that i use during the exam and how i kind of motivated myself this is just for people who actually need help in like you know just a little bit of motivation little tips and strategies if you feel like so that is it bye